Yeah, welcome back to the La Vida Liverpool podcast with me, Justin Hopper, talking to Mr. Daniel Davis from Rockpoint Leisure New Brighton. So, Dan, why did you choose street art as a key component um, to kickstart the regeneration here in New Brighton? It's one of a number of things. You see, I was in Brooklyn. I was at a conference in Manhattan. That was it was on my forty fifth birthday, and um, I, I, I didn't. It was conference was a couple of days, so. I hate going over to the States just for a flight for a few days, so I always go before and stay after and then catch up with my mates and the different people. Or So anyway, I've had some time and I was just walking around Brooklyn and I was looking at areas that have been regenerated. And also Brooklyn is, you know, it's proximity to Manhattan. It's a, you're over or under a river. A lot of seaside towns, half of it is water. I very much viewed our ecosystem as, and we've got a city, a historic city on our doorstep, good connectivity, we need to embrace our location. But also looking at the, you know, the sort of buildings and things, I wanted to draw attention to things because they're all too happy to bulldoze. So if you look down the road, that used to have some of the nicest buildings that you could now regenerate concert halls, six or seven stories. Now have a two story. Yeah. So I'm not slagging them off and Sean lives there. <laughs> <laughs> Down the road, one of our, one of, one of our great neighbours. Um, but, the, the, but the point is, art and music and creativity, I think, are key in any regeneration. And also, from a personal point of view, I was always frustrated. My dad was a, a, a screenwriter. A screen printer. I, I was really into photography, uh, my dark room and everything, and, and art and music. Mm. Uh, ruled out music at about 14 because we were in a band and I think we did 11 gigs. We had to change our name 11 times. We played, <laughs> we played, like, we played the new band, Bass for Riverside, we played a load of them, and, but we were. I, was, I, I wasn't talented enough and I knew that. Uh, being a lead singer and being tone deaf didn't help. <laughs> And, uh, but the other lads were quite talented and maybe they carried on in music. But I bailed out because I just thought, no, I'm not good enough. And there wasn't really any... Uh, I looked in photography and things like that before. There wasn't the sort of opportunity that allow you to get out of this place. Mm. So I ended up... I was, I was working in licensed premises and I ended up starting this training company, which, 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 you know, the rest is history. But I always kept the sort of, like, artistic side. So the reason we grew CPL over 30 years... I didn't want to run a bloody training company, mm. right? But we were the rock, rock stars of training, so yeah. we did. I used a lot of sort of art and, and ideas to promote ourselves and grow as a company. But this has really allowed, you know, us, it, it, when you're changing a place, unless you have some remote, like, regeneration group come in, and they don't give a shit about the place, they just mm. come in. Yeah. They want to get a fee right, um, from a council, and they'll be gone as soon as the last last thing's sold. You never yeah. see them again. There's no you know, there's no like comeback to the things because they haven't thought about it. Mm. And, and I think living in a place all your life and seeing over decades that you know things happen. Yeah. Uh, you know, Wivens Lane College shut. Creativity got completely destroyed in a lot of schools and curriculum. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, and, and we lost, you, you know what really you would piss me off, doing the research, yeah. you realise how many people, talented people came from you, but we just lost. Yeah. That was once sat behind me, it was an absolute legend they were going to come on to, Aiden. but there's Mark Wardle, there's, there's loads, I mean, there's loads, loads of people who left the, uh, New Brighton because there just wasn't the opportunities or anything, yeah. and also it is good to travel, I mean yeah. I've travelled all around the world, but so I want to bring, you know, we wanted to bring people in. So we brought artists in from all around the world. We got them working with local artists. So Adam mm. was painting dog portraits at Brezzo. He was yeah, painting yeah. dog portraits. His first mural was the, was the harbour. Then he did the diver on the side of it. Now he's working with Aidan, doing the tribute to Aidan and Malcolm Bennett, the two, two legends from New Brighton. Now, I got people saying, well, you shouldn't use anyone from outside the area, you should only use local artists. And they just go, imagine if Glastonbury said, I know, why don't we start a festival, but we're only going to use artists from Somerset. <laughs> 
the end. Yeah. <laughs> right, you want to bring in people who inspire. So I've brought people in from Australia, from France, from you know Germany, from America, from Ireland, from all over the place, and different yeah. styles yeah. of art as well, different things, and you know. It, it, but, but I did a dissertation once of a picture, picture contains a thousand words. Look at even in, in photography, some iconic mm. pictures where you just go, that one shot, you don't even need to put anything. Remember when the kid bit that young Syrian kid washed up on a beach? I was abroad somewhere working at the time. Every newspaper around the world just had this one image and it was a slap in the face. It was a wake up call. The, the girl in the Vietnam War, which she's working out and she's been napalmed. These images are mm. iconic uh, it, and sometimes it can be the, the, the sort of wake up call you yeah. need. The problem now with the internet and phones and everything like that is that you you're desensitised by these sorts of images. Mm. But with, with ours, it's meant to trigger a conversation. It's meant to be yeah. able to, If everyone's clapping in a room, you're not doing it right. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And things you might not like to be, you go, actually, it's grown on me. Yeah, yeah. But well, at least you're talking about it. It's better than just some mossed up crappy world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, 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 there's a collection of people around here who contribute to art, local. Um, you know, the local colleges, schools, we've had, we had, when we had empty buildings, I've got three banks on the road. So we've got a bus stop and no buses stop that. We have three banks. High street banking as a term should be banned because yeah. there isn't any. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, <coughs> they want to shut the bloody post, you know, the, the, the things like the post office and make it, na uh, uh, or pharmacy, sorry, and get them as central hubs. <laughs> I was right meant to work. So you know, you walk in, you speak to a pharmacist, and, and get a bit of diagnosis. Now you're meant to go online, and some Amazon-style like fucking medicine comes to you. It's bullshit. It's the whole lot of crap. Yeah, brilliant. Again, <laughs> art. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> nice song. And guys, stay tuned and uh, get ready for the Back next in a episode. Minute. Coming soon. <laughs>